Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. <clears throat> and my first attempt to go live said failed, so hopefully this one works. It's a beautiful Sunday here. Facebook is not behaving. I'll just make sure that we can see the comments. There we go. All right. I think we're set. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Fran. So it's beautiful here in Ottawa. My name is Marianne Cowan. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ottawa, Canada. <clears throat> and I do daily Facebook Lives. Well, I've stopped doing them on Saturdays just for the summer. But I do them uh, most days. And I showcase products that are fun to use and play with. Hello, Shannon. So today we're going to be using the... Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series Paper. I'm almost all the way through the first three sheets. I think I've done used up two and a half of these sheets. So you get six sheets. Three of them are these cutouts. Um, here's some samples. I call that the sun. I call that the wreath. And some other fern and things like that. And then the back ones, or the ones, the other three types, which I actually haven't used a lot, I'll have to challenge myself this week to use them, are these um, card backgrounds. And they're really beautiful. So I'm going to pull this one out and just try something when I'm doing my Facebook Live today. And maybe this one. I'm not going to change what I'm doing, but I'm just going to look and see how it would look. I'm going to grab these three that have some kind of leaves on them. So I think this might be on low inventory. Um, I'm using it. I would. These would be beautiful wedding cards. But I think that these elements that I'm using now would be beautiful Christmas cards. Hello, Patricia from Indiana. Thank you for sharing my video. I appreciate that. <clears throat> okay, so today we're using the peony dies. We're not using the stamp set, um, but it, there is a stamp set that I didn't even grab, and then there's a set of dies. So the dies cut out the images in the stamp set, but they also have these really funky dies that cut out the pieces required to make a 3D peony. Oh, Fran, you've only used one piece so far. I've used quite a bit and I'll show you a little trick I don't know if you've been watching my videos this week where I've used pieces of it so one day I took this piece and I cut it up and it's actually really easy to cut it's got perfect little spots between different sections that you can just take your little paper snips and cut away and then I took this one and same thing I found places where it would be easy to cut into little pieces. I didn't want them really big and I just cut them down. I've used them all up so I can't even show you but I'm going to show you some cards that I used. And then I took the big fern, there's one big fern leaf, and I cut it into a whole bunch of pieces. And I'll show you some of the cards before we start that I used that used these pieces on. So this is one of the actual pieces, separate piece. So this is the um, Gorgeous Posies card kit, which I played with a lot this week. I think every day except one. So there's one of the elements that remains as is. I know, I didn't want to use it at the beginning, and then I just started using it. Because there's only three of these, so once you use them all, they're gone. So here's another one of the elements that, just as it was, and I added some vellum. This one, um, I just cut out of foil with the die cuts. Here's another one that I just added one of the elements. 
really pretty. It just is so beautiful with this card kit. I'm not a big kit person, but that kit is gorgeous. And here, look, those pieces are from the wreath. So I just cut it into little pieces and used it behind the flowers. And then this one, you can see I used a lot of the fern. And then this is another little piece from this one. I had enough from this one to do, I used it on three different cards. So with this piece, you get to use it on one card, but when you cut it up, which is hard to do the first time you do it, I use it on three cards. And then this is my most wow one, I think, uh, the next two. So this one I used all little pieces from this, I call it the sun, and some of the fern. Isn't it pretty? So you get one little piece can go a long way. And then there's another one that I used pieces from this, as well as a couple, three of the ferns. So the fern is quite big and I cut it not too small and then I cut it more as I went. So those are some pretty cards. Those are on my um, Facebook Lives from last week. Now today, I'm not taking credit for the vellum part of this. I saw, um, I think it was in Demonstrator Planning Place. Uh, let me check. And the girl's name was Lori Magnuson. Demonstrator Planning Place. Lori Magnuson. So she used the vellum to make her flowers. The card design is my own, but I did use the vellum as she, she suggested. So let's start. So we're going to be making two cards using vellum colored and vellum white. And I'll show you some of the things I thought would look good. And then once I did it, I thought, no, too much. So let's put this one aside and we'll start with this one. So my card base is thick whisper white, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Oh, Wanda, you saw that one too? Yeah, it's beautiful. So I, it was her idea for the vellum, but the card design that I'm gonna show you today is, is my own. But when I saw those, it was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of using vellum? Anyways, so I did score this because when you're using Thick Whisper White, it doesn't fold that nice. Then I have a piece of Whisper White, four by five and a quarter, and I've used the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder, which is part of the Peony Suite. When you use this folder, make sure you line it up straight. Find a line and in the folder and line it up straight. If it's crooked, it you can tell. And I'm talking from experience there. So this one's gonna go like this. And then we're gonna put this in the middle and then we're gonna layer up our flower. So let's go ahead and put this piece on. I think I'm probably going to pop up this. So I'm not going to put it on quite yet. Sometimes I decide, if you know, if you watch me, I haven't made the card before. I just cut out all the pieces. And then I decide as I go exactly what it's going to look like. And there are often errors. So that's ready. How did I color? this I'm just gonna do a quick little tutorial I don't know if she had it on her blog I just this is just how I did it I'm not saying it's the perfect way to do it and you know what I changed it as I was going about three times so those are my finished pieces because they do take a few minutes to dry so let's what I did is I took light flirty flamingo and dark flirty flamingo she used flirty flamingo so I did try um, petal pink, but it was really light. So here's, I am not a fancy card person. Well, this card is fancy, but I'm a quick. So I went like this all the way along. So this is light and color it right on the vellum. Whoops. And because it's alcohol markers, you don't really need to worry about lines. Although I did notice that you do get lines on vellum. 
after saying that. Then I took the dark and I went in the ridges because this is going to, you want a bit of shadow in the middle. So I did that on all the pieces. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna show you one. And then I did go around like this to the outside because I noticed hers in the picture had quite dark around the outside. So I did do this. And then when I looked back, after it had dried, you could see where I had done that. So then I took my light again and went back over it, which I often do when I color light and dark. As you can see, I'm not taking any time to do this. So I did that. And then I still, oh, you can see where my finger was. Huh. And I still wasn't quite happy with it. So then I took my Flirty Flamingo ink pad and a sponge. And there might be a better way to do this. I don't know. I'm just showing you how I did it. That's what's fun when you watch a whole bunch of different videos and you figure out what you like. So I did this with the sponge around the edge just to try to get that nice dark edge. So that's how I colored mine. Now I'm going to get that one out of the way because it's wet and I don't want to get them mixed up. And I also colored leaves in... Uh, the colors weren't that dark. Dark mint macaron, mint macaron, and dark soft sea foam. So you can't really even tell the difference in the colors. But once one is layered on top of the other, it does give it a little bit of definition. I went ahead and glued these so they'd be dry when I do my cards today. And I'm not even sure I'm going to use them. And you'll see why in a minute. And then I did have, I do have some of that, a colored vellum. The perennial essence colored vellum and I thought oh, I'll try some with a green vellum. I think it's a bit too dark but we'll save those for later and we can decide if we even want them. I think I'll put them on one but not on the other. All right let's get this out of the way. These petals are dry and I did do the stamen just a whole bunch of times in the dark. Okay so I think after I've made this card so many times I've got the order down pat. Oh I'm going to bring these over because I just want to try them on the card. We're not going to use them, but I just want to see what they look like. All right, so we're going to put the littlest one in first. And I learned from my first Facebook video that the um, slot stays at the top. And then you line up the bottoms. And I like putting a glue dot on each layer. I find that easier. So I'm just going to take a little glue dot and add it to this layer. I'm sure you've seen the videos and know to um, line up the notch. So now we'll do the second one. So you can see how it doesn't blend the same as it does on paper. But I think it's fine because you don't see all those layers. And when it's finished it's really pretty. So you don't notice those little, not mistakes, but those little, I don't know what to call them technique things. I don't know. Okay, so there's two. And then we're going to add the third one. No, fourth one. That was three. This is four. Okay, I like putting the glue dot down first. This one that you don't have quite as much space before I find the little notch. Hopefully you can see that on the back, how the notches all line up. Whoever designed this is genius. That's all I can say. Now my little stamen, we made this the other day on our team Facebook, or our team Zoom. I sent everybody the materials. So it was deciding where you want your stamen between which layers. And I think we decided we liked it here. If I can get it open enough. It might have been easier to put this on earlier. Just trying to open up between the layers. There we go. There. It's a beautiful color on color. I really like this. Now I'm going to really gently, really gently, do a little bit of curling. Vellum doesn't like to be curled that much. 
But I did notice on Lori's that it really did look 3D. I think with vellum you almost just fold it down. That's what I'm going to do and hopefully that's a good idea. That one maybe should have been somewhere else. One thing about vellum is you can see through it. Which is what I love about vellum, but all right. And those are gonna I don't know. And I've seen other people where they just kind of squish it. I don't know though. I don't know if I want to squish it. Okay, let's get our card back in here. It's a very simple card. I'm not even putting a greeting on it because then you can use it for whatever you want. All right, so for this one, I'm adding this. Like, that's the piece. That's the masterpiece. And then I'm adding the flower. I want to try it with these. That's why I pulled them out. No, I don't like that. That one's not bad. And, huh, I kind of like those. What do you guys think? But I like what I'm gonna use best. So, here's my dilemma. Or not my dilemma, there's no dilemma for this card. I am gonna pop this up. I'll have to be careful how I glue this on. I think I'll add some glue dots strategically. I don't think you'll be able to see through in four layers of vellum. So when you add the leaves, because I thought of adding the leaves in the spots where there's no gold, you can see through though to the leaves, but when I did it, I, I didn't really even know if it needed the leaves. What do you guys think? Leaves or no leaves? There's leaves. I almost think no leaves. Okay, I'm gonna wait a second and see if anyone has any ideas. I'll go ahead and pop this on because it'll be easy to pop some leaves underneath if I decide I want to. Could try snail or seal. I actually watched a video to see how you use it properly. Do you want it on an angle? No leaves. Leaves, no leaves. <laughs> okay. Well, the next one we're definitely not putting leaves on. I'll leave them off for now, and then we can decide. I can always add them later if I feel like it. One thing about, I will show you with the darker leaves, they do show through a lot. So I definitely wouldn't use those. And I did put that dimensional a bit too low. And it's easy to line this up because everything's square. Let's try it one more time with a leaf. I don't know. I just don't know. I could put two leaves on one side. Hmm. The girl in the video said for the snail, when you roll down, don't click, but just roll up a little bit. So I'll try. Okay, um, I'm gonna add these two leaves here. I don't know, I can't make a decision. First I'm gonna add them, I'm gonna glue them together. And then I'll pop them on. There we go. Now let's try and see if we need a bow. This is the gold twine from the uh, Forever Greenery set. I should know the name because I've it. been using it all week. And you could put a little sentiment down here. I would put congratulations like I did on one of the other cards because then you can use it for anything. Anniversary or wedding or unfortunately... I think a lot of weddings got cancelled this year or postponed I should say. Our son got married in February right before all this happened. 
but my niece was supposed to get married in June. I feel so bad. Okay, I like that. And then what I like to do is untwist this so you get that frayed look. So that's the first card. Okay, I think that's pretty. I really like the softness when it's colored. You'll see the difference between that and when we just leave it white. Okay, so that's our first card. I probably should have put a little saying there, but oh well. So for our second card, oh yes, we need to add some gold to this one. And I'm running out of these because I've been using them so much. I do have some little ones. They're almost too little. Maybe I'll do big and a little. There. All right, we're going to use these ones for the next card. So this one is white on white. And here's how I started. So it was eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then I cut off, um, how much did I cut off? I cut off one and three quarter inches. Yeah, just shy of two. I thought two was too much. Then I did emboss white using the um, Dainty Diamonds. And then I thought, oh, maybe it'll be really pretty to use gold on this side, a little strip of the gold. But then when I put it all on, it was too much gold. So then I decided to use the extra piece because I did start this out as a four inch piece. So I decided to put this here so that when you open it up, you can do your greeting right there because it's thick uh, whisper white so you don't need to worry about your writing showing through. So let's go ahead and add these pieces. And then this one we're going to make white. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to add leaves to this one, but you never know. So this is two inches across. I just used a four inch piece and cut it and used both halves. But I want it to not white match up. So I want it the same height and I'm hoping there'll be a little tiny bit of space so that you can see that it's two pieces. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's good. All right, let's assemble our flower. So this one is going to have this peeking over the edge so that when you open it, it looks like that. So let's go ahead and put our flower together. We'll start with the smallest one. I'm not doing anything to this one other than just assembling. So, but I will add my glue dots as we go. I'm getting pretty good at assembling now because I've made quite a few of these. still live because okay there I am it did boot me off when I first tried to get on okay here's the first layer and here's the second layer I'm just putting the glue dot right by this little notch so I'll know exactly where I want to put it and then the last one. Oh, we forgot Wink of Stella for the pink one. I even have it out somewhere. Okay, one more. This is not hard at all. It's just a bit finicky. There we go, and I'm going to try to do a little bit of folding. You can fold with the vellum more than curl, I find. Oh, and my stamen is here. I'll add that in a 
second. Um, so I'm going to want kind of back. You can play with it a little bit later. I'm just going to stick this in for now. Let's try it here this time. I don't think. It needs to go back a, one more layer. All right. So this is going to get glued onto the middle of this. Now I'll show you what the issue was with the leaves. So these leaves, I wonder if I could have done white leaves, but um, these leaves are very dark. So they do show through, but we'll put it on to see if you like it. So. We need to make sure this is kind of centered in the card, not centered. So it'll be a little bit more over to the side. Okay, so leaves are not leaves. I'm still alive. Okay, thanks, Wanda. I looked over at the screen and it was like frozen. All right, what do you think? Leaves or no leaves? Actually, they don't look as bad as I thought. Or is it more glamorous with just the gold? What do you guys think? I didn't think I was gonna like the leaves, but I actually kinda like the leaves. All right, Wanda, I'm with you. didn't think I was going to. I should have done one smaller, but that's okay. Maybe I'll just put one. Actually, that one is smaller, is it? No, they're about the same. I'll just put this one a little bit further in. And I don't want it to go off the card. So that should be good. Now, I'm going to use glue dots for this one and hopefully they're not going to show through. So let's put this back up here. I'm going to try to put the glue dots where there's lots of layers. And I'm on to these ones now. I don't know if anyone else has trouble using these glue dots, but... So let's put this in the middle on an angle. All right, you can't see the glue dots, so I might need to put another little glue dot there. I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. And I think the vellum would be pretty even without the gold accent, like vellum on white, I think would be really pretty as well. All right, so this one I, oh geez. I always tell my ladies in class, make sure you don't put your glue where you don't want it. And I definitely do not want dimensionals way over here. I'm just gonna lightly put it on and see if, yeah, as you can see, that's not where I want them. So it's these ones that need to be relocated. Luckily it's on the back of my card, so uh, it's going to make a big mess. So remember where you want to put your dimensionals before you put them down. We might only need two actually. I'll put one there. All right, that was a bit of a faux pas. All right. I'll have to put something there so you don't see that. Okay, so vellum peonies. 
and gold specialty designer series paper. Oh, and we need a couple of little jewels on this one, but I thought I would use the elegant faceted gems because we have so much white and going on and they're just so pretty. I think I'll use, I won't use the red, not red, champagne. Champagne? Yeah, champagne. There. Now I feel like I need one up here. No, I can't do four. That'll drive me crazy. Oh, a bow. Let's try it with a bow. I'm not sure, but we can use the bow for something else if we don't like it. Not really any other ribbon that I think that would suit this. I'm trying to remember if there was any night. I think there was a gold twine in the upcoming Christmas catalog. All right, so there we've got a little bow. I'll just trim it because I don't want it too long. I'm going to fan it out and attempt to use one of these blue dots. This might not work. Oh, there we go. And I think I want it right around here. Oh, geez. I glued it on the back. Oh. All right. So there's our two cards. I think they would both be beautiful wedding or... Oh, wink. Wink of Stella. Thanks, Shannon. I even had it out ready to go. Oh yeah. Now I'm not sure about the Wink of Stella. I need to add another glue dot there. On colored vellum, but it seems to be okay. And I'm just gonna make sure there's no pink on it. Wink of Stella just makes everything prettier. These flowers need a bit adjusting of adjusting, like this I haven't glued in yet. And I might want to do that a color. I couldn't decide, so I just left it white for now. Maybe green to match this. I could cut it out in that same green. I think that might be a bit dark, though. Okay, Wink of Stella. All right, so those are our cards for today. So using vellum and the peony dyes die cut and colored with blends and this one just left white so thank you for joining me in my studio today i hope you're having an awesome sunday and you get to enjoy the rest of your weekend it's beautiful here they said it might rain but i don't think so anyways if you are looking to purchase any of these products you can find them in my online store at mariannecowan.com i would love if you would <laughs> Wanda, no, I did not do that. But it seems to be okay. You know what it actually did, Wanda, now that you mention it? It pulled away some of the color and gives it more definition. So that's a good tip if you're supposed to put uh, Wink Estella on the underside if you've just colored your vellum. Good tip. Thank you, Wanda. Um, yeah, so I hope you're joining me on my mission to make a card, send a card. I will be back all this week at 3 o'clock for our daily Facebook Lives. I'd love if you join me, share my video, or give it a thumbs up or a like. And we'll see you tomorrow at 3. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. You're welcome, Fran. Just waiting a second to make sure I don't miss any comments. Also, if you're watching the replay, you can just write replay so I'll know if anyone watches the replays. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.